Hey friends, we need to talk about how to prepare your metal and get it ready for welding. Okay, so you've gone through all the safety tests, you're ready to start welding, you know how to strike an arc, you know your movement, now we need to get some metal. There are different ways you can cut that metal to get it to a piece that's workable to where you can weld on it. But once you get that piece cut, there are some things you need to do before you start welding on it. We can't weld successfully on a piece like this. We need to remove that rust and we need to remove that mill scale. So the first thing we can do when we cut this is we can either wire brush it if it's not that bad, but what I prefer is either to lightly grind this or to take it to the wire wheel. So this is our wire wheel on the grinder. So when we use this, we don't wanna wear gloves. Can gloves can be grabbed by all these wires and then suck your hand in there and that's a really bad day. So we have to make sure we're using the uh, plates here, the guards, so that we don't get our piece sucked in there. And then we have to make sure that we're not pushing it too tight to where it could grab in there and pull in there. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take off this rust and we're gonna take off this mill scale to get down to the bare steel. So you can see how that wire wheel took the rust off, but we still have some stuff here. Now you can weld right over top of that. For our welds, it's not that big a deal, but if this was a structural weld, you'd wanna get rid of that. So we can take it to a grinder or we can take it to an angle grinder and get that even better. So here we have an angle grinder. We'll talk about this later, but you can use it to get rid of this mill scale and any other rust and so you can have bare steel to weld on. So you can see the difference in this piece where we have good bare steel, and then we have that mill scale, and then there's spots of rust. This bare steel is the good stuff to weld on. That's what you wanna get down to when you're doing your weld. All right, folks, so just like in everything, make sure you plan to be successful. Prep your metal so that you can produce a good weld. Now you know, and as G.I. Joe would say, knowing's half the battle. Thanks for watching.